Hi, I'm Lonette and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on this look right here using the Juvia's Place of the Saharan 2 palette. So welcome to the 10th episode of the Juvia's Place eyeshadow tutorial series. Yes, this is episode number 10. You know what that means. I have 10 Juvia's Place eyeshadow palettes. <gasps> <laughs> but they're so good and I love them so much so what can what, what can I say this one is the Saharan 2 and this is a more recent this is the most I believe recent um, Juvia's Place palette addition to my collection I put off buying this palette for a really a really long time because it's basically it's a neutral palette it's got a couple of pops of blue here and here but for the most part it's pretty neutral and I didn't feel like I needed to have this palette to be honest with you but then I saw it in someone else's video and more than that she swatched some of the colors and I was like oh okay I might actually need that one <laughs> and these colors right here this one right here um Okay, I don't, I don't have my glasses on, so I can't read that. But this is the one that made me go ahead and buy it because that is gorgeous. <laughs> it's like this dual chrome turquoise with green or I don't know. Or like a green with gold. I don't know how to describe it. All I know is that it's gorgeous. This shade that I'm wearing, one of the shades that I'm wearing on my lid in the innermost part and on my inner um, corner is Marrakesh. This shade right here. It is like this dual chrome peach champagne shade. Beautiful. And I said I wasn't going to swatch in this video, but I can't help myself. So enough talking. If you would like to see how I created this look today using the Saharan 2 palette by Juvia's Place, then keep on watching. Starting off today's look using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Eye Primer. Started with my finger, used too much, and that was going to take forever to blend out. So I went on ahead and used my Sigma E55 brush to blend the rest of it out. I try not to go above too high above my crease because it's just a pain in the butt to try to blend a shadow over it to hide that white. Now I'm going into the palette. I'm taking Taza and a Delium Tools 776 brush and I'm going to first tap that into the crease. I'm going to build up the color into the crease first. By tapping I find that I get the better um, opacity and with this with in pigment when I tap it and then I go in with the blend the back and forth windshield wiper motions in the crease and the small circular motions in the outer V area and I just went into the palette a few times and build up the color to make sure I got it to be pigmented and as vibrant as I wanted it to be and this base really helps to make these eyeshadows pop and to adhere there in the crease. Now I'm going in and I'm taking Fez and this is another Delium Tools 776 brush and I'm going to use the same methods of application and blending by first tapping it into the outer V. I went back into the palette a few times to build up that color first and then once I have the color that I, the amount that I want um, I'm going to start blending it into the crease using those same blending motions back and forth windshield wiper motions in the crease and the smaller circular motions in the outer V area and that base that eye primer it dries so fast <laughs> so I, I try to um, I do I always <laughs> blend aggressively to make sure I can get these shadows blended out the way that I like continue to build up into the crease because I have wrinkles and folds so I want to make sure I get all that color in the crease and have no um, no patchiness no bald spots in that area and just aggressively blend now I'm going to go back into the palette and I'm going to take Hadia on a wet brush and I'm going to place that on the outer part um, of 
of my mobile lid I'm gonna cover up most of the mobile lid with this shade and it's a pretty like orangey yellow metallic shade so I'm gonna place that like as I said like predominantly on the mobile eyelid there and blend pat and blend going back into the palette and now I'm taking Marrakesh and uh, this is also a wet brush I think it's the same brush that I might have just turned around I'm not sure but I'm going to put that on in the outer corner in the outer half in the inner corner I mean the inner half of the eyelid right next to that Hadia and I'm um, pretty much like cutting the crease with these wet shadows and making sure that I build up the color to get it to the intensity that I want and I'm also overlapping it onto that Hadia shade because as always you want to make sure that those two shades blend seamlessly together and there I am just trying to cut that crease somewhat and get it in the crease and not above the crease just tuck it right there in the crease and then I'm going to go back in with Hadia and make sure that that line in the crease connects I have one even straight line all the way across and then I'm going to tap and blend it into that Marrakesh shade because I don't want you to see where one shadow begins and the other one ends and then back in with that deep fez shade to make sure that I um add that intensity back in because after blending with those um, lid shades you kind of blended some of that away so you want to add that back in there I like to have some definition in my eyeshadow looks and this dark shadow does that for me and then back in with that uh, orangey shade the first shade we started off with to blend out the edges of that um, of those colors you know want to make it seamless 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 and now I'm just gonna take a uh, makeup wipe and just clean up the fallout which wasn't very much because I used those metallic shades wet um, I didn't have much of any fallout on onto my face now I'm going in with my milk makeup long wear gel eyeliner this is in the shade BCC which is like a neutral off-white beigey type shade um, I did purchase another one of these because I really do love these um, liners but it, I got it on the Sephora Weekly Wow so I got it for 50% off woohoo now I'm going back in with that um, orangey shade that I started this look off with and I'm just going to blend that onto the lower lash line with my trusty Makeup Geek pencil brush and I just went in and built it up a little bit and I'm going to take it all the way across to the inner corner so I'm gonna go all the way across that lower lash line with this shadow it blends out very nicely and very pigmented as is just about all these Juvia's Place eyeshadows and now I'm going to take my one of my favorite colors in this um, palette and that's Zora and that's like this red brown and um, I'm going to put that 50% oh, across the lower lash line because I want to make sure I deepen that up on that outer corner there and kind of connect it with the outer V area on my lid and now I'm just using Marrakesh dry as my inner corner highlight and I use the milk makeup um, gel liner in the color brown I forget what what the name of it is as my liner and I just use some um, mascara and that's the completed look I hope you found this look, this video, this tutorial helpful. Maybe it gave you some ideas about a look you could do with this palette, a neutral look you could do with this palette. I did do another look that I didn't film and posted on Instagram that uh, I used this shade right here, which is absolutely stunning. And I believe I wore, it in a, I wore that look in a video here as well. If you enjoyed this video or found it anyway, useful or helpful then please go ahead and give it a like and consider subscribing because I do tutorials makeup hauls swatches and reviews here on my channel every Saturday I want to thank you for joining me today I hope to see you again next week until then bye bye